The eternal God is our refuge. And underneath are the everlasting arms. For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in flesh shall I see God. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thou rod and thou staff, thou comfort me. He restores my soul. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thou rod and thou staff, they comfort me. Thou prepare to take before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anoint my head with oil, my cup run over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the street of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? My hope, thou in God, for I shall yet please him. For he who is the help of my countenance and my God. To go up and view. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountain be carried into the midst of the sea. He that dwelleth in a secret place of the Most High. <coughs> shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Hast thou not known? Hast thou not heard? The everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There are no section of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint. And to them that have no might, he increases strength. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up the wings of the eagle. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am the God, thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will hold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine, and thou passest through the world. I will be with thee, and through the rivers they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, and neither shall the flame, flame kindle upon thee. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. The Lord is good. A stronghold in a day of trouble. And he knoweth them that trust in him. 
Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Jesus said unto them, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you may be also. Whether I go, you know, and the way you know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest. And how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world give it, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. These things have I spoken unto you, that in me you have peace, may have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. For I am persuaded, neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Behold, I will show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, and the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Excuse me, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. But this incorruptible, but this corruptible must put on incorruption. And this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall put on immortality, then shall we be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is the sin, is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who has given us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. We're going to get ready to have our scripture and our prayer. Amen. We're going to ask, amen, someone from my ministerial staff to come and give us a scripture and a prayer. We ask our ministerial staff, amen. Brooks, you pass the books, give us a scripture. Mass, my sister, she can give us a prayer.
Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. I'm just going to quote this scripture. Second, it comes from St. John, the 14th chapter. Let's give God a praise on this morning. Give God a praise on this morning. Give God a praise on this morning. Hallelujah. Let's going to say one scripture. And it's St. John, the 14th chapter. And it simply says, Let not your heart be troubled. Let not your heart be troubled. Let us bow our heads. Our Father, our Father, our Father. God, we call on you right now, just as humble as we know how. Oh God, we know that you are the creator of the universe. And Father, right now, we lift up this Bynum and Edwards family to you right now and the friends and loved ones, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, you don't make no mistakes because you are the just God, the righteous God, the everlasting God. And Father, right now we ask you for strength right now, peace right now, joy right now, love right now, protection right now, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we ask you to come right now. We already know that you're here. And Father, we thank you right now. Oh God, lift up the hung down heads. Oh God, let them know that you're God and beside you there is no other. Oh God, we ask you right now to touch right now. Oh God, let the love go from heart to heart, mind to mind, and breast to breast. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we need you right now. Oh God, we're calling on your name, God. But we know the other name to call on, but the name of Jesus. Oh God, we say help right now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we know that you're God. Oh God, you rock us, God, in the cradle of your arms, oh God. Oh God, the mother, oh God, the father, oh God, the children, oh God, the fiance, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, the sisters and the brothers. Oh God, the nieces, the uncles, the aunts, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, church right now, oh God. Oh God, let them know that you'll be right there by their side. Oh God, right now in the name of Jesus. And that lonely hour, oh God. Oh God, you're right there. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we ask you for strength on today. Help us, oh God. Oh God, bless the man of God that's going to preach your word. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. We give it all to you, God. It's yours, God. In the name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen and amen. 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 Thank God for the scripture and thank God for the prayer. Amen. We're going to get ready to um, open up the floor for those that may have been lost. Amen. And I ask that if you have any remarks, with the exception of preacher, preachers that you come, go to my left. But all preachers, you are welcome to come to the make your remarks. Uh, so therefore, amen, we want to really, amen, let you know, um, Montgomery was a happy person. He was one that was just happy. He carried... A smile about him, that's I think he made a song called Smile. And he was a happy person. He wants you to enjoy yourself. He wants you to have a home on uh, today. He wants you to do the very best you can. Amen. Amen. I know, I know this is uh it hit us all by surprise. It hit us low. Amen. Sometimes life deals us a bad hand. But we need to learn how to play the hand that we didn't get. Amen. Because at the end of the day, life still goes on. Amen. Amen. It don't stop here. Amen. And I want you to know something also. This family is going to need you. Amen. I don't just stop calling. Don't just stop texting. Amen. Today, tomorrow. No. They're going to need you from time to time. Amen. They need to hear a word. 
Amen? Amen. So we truly thank God. Uh, uh, we'll probably have some more remarks later, but at this particular time, we're going to open up the floor. Amen. I don't know if they already have a mic over there. Do they have a mic over to my left? Y'all already got that? Okay. All right. So we're at this particular time, we're going to open up uh, the floor for remarks. Amen. 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 We thank God also uh, for having Pastor Henderson. Amen. That's with us. That's going to bring forth the word of God. Amen. Amen. A very good friend. Amen. I'm Andre. Amen. And also he preached, I'm Andre preaches and it's a sermon under his leadership. So we really thank God for him being here with us today. Amen. Amen. So. Uh, over to my left, and let me say this also, please do not, if you got any remarks, make it brief and quick. I mean, just simple as that. Amen. We ain't up here to stay all day. Amen. Like I said on last night, you can't tell it all in a way, and amen, if you didn't tell it by the living, then what you're saying now, he can't hear you. Amen. So we want you to know. Amen. You may have remarks. Now, we know that he had a lot of, uh, he sung and helped a lot of groups and, and, and what have you. And I know we, there may be those of you that, amen, that might have remarks. Again, I want you to go ahead and start lining up to my left. You got any remarks? Start lining up to my left. Amen. Go ahead and start doing that now. Amen. You got any remarks? Start lining up to my left. I'll give you time to get over there because if we want to be able to move swiftly. Amen. We don't need to wait. Amen. To people sit down, then we got to have somebody standing up. Amen. So go ahead and start walking over to my left. Amen. Now you let me know now that you want such a remark. Over to the left. You let me know that you want to say remarks when you come over to my left. Y'all got it? Y'all understand me? If you don't come over to my left, then let me know that you don't want to say any remarks. So again, if you want to say remarks, please come on over to my left. And because there will not be any remarks, amen, at the funeral, when the funeral starts, not let your name appear on the program. Amen? Okay, we have a pastor. Praise the Lord, everybody. It's very difficult to even stand here with my little cousin laying in front of me. And you've heard all the right things to say to the family. You said some of you so I need it. I just want to share a little bit of the the last conversation I had with Andre. And, and, and I'm going to present it as a challenge. He and I talked about families waiting until a time like this to come together. And we talked about how we were going to commit ourselves to making sure that we don't wait for another time like this to get together. And we gotta stop waiting for the special occasion. We're gonna leave here today and we're not gonna think of getting together again until about Easter. And what he shared with me and what I shared back with him, we can't wait until Easter to get together. Because that's a lot of time for somebody else to not be here anymore. Make a commitment. Every time you have a day off of work, take one hour out of your day. Call a family member you haven't talked to in a while. Get in your car and go visit somebody you haven't seen in a while. Just take one hour out of your day off so that we don't keep meeting like this. This is very painful. And he said, we can't say it all, so I'm not, I'm not gonna try to say it all. 
but I think we all understand what I'm trying to say here. We can't keep waiting for these kinds of things to get together. So I challenge us all, especially myself, because I'm the most guilty person of it anyway. Pick the phone up, get in your car, and go visit somebody. Family, I love you all, and it's a lot of us. Everybody whose phone number I do not have, please at some point today make sure I have it. Because I'm not going to stand here and say what I just said and not be the first one to pick that phone up. And I got a whole lot of witnesses in there, so I got to Please join me. We'll make it, family. God bless you all.
He inspired all of us. And the things that I always look at, this guy and all of us, the singers in here, we did a recording. This guy sponsored eight tickets. Call me up and say, man, I'm going to buy eight tickets. Don't even know who I'm going to give them to. Sponsor eight tickets to support us. Turned around again when the project came out, he bought five. Said, I don't know who I'm going to give them to, but I'm going to support y'all. And y'all know Andre, whether he have a disagreement with you, whether you rock with him or was in his circle, he was coming up in your program like this. Like, oh, I ain't got no words, I ain't got no fear. So that's the kind of guy, you, he, will, he will come regardless. So that lets you know we gotta be strong-minded like that. If you know the man who you living for, you ain't gotta worry about the sideline. Well done, my friend. Thank y'all. Somebody say, what's the highest praise? Hallelujah. Come on, we can do just a little bit better than that. In spite of, he is still good. What's the highest praise? Hallelujah. Just a little piece to say, you move mountains. You cause walls to fall. <laughs> we are all powerful. You perform.
like a pretty cool guy. I said, man, this guy's pretty cool. And then uh, one day, this is social media is just, you know, jumped off, you know. And he hit me up, he said, hey man, I know you ain't singing with nobody right now. Uh, you want to sing? I said, yeah. I said, no problem. So, I met Mondre and uh, in Goldsburg, I didn't really know, you know, where I was going. And at that time, I didn't have a car. I was going in, in the transition period. I ain't had no car. So he said, man, me being Goldsburg. So I got in the car. And when I got the Google, he took me to his mama's house. That's how I met Miss Diane, Zamika, Shabaye, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we just we did, we developed a friendship over the years. And but at one time I left and went away and sang with another group and uh, it was successful at the time. And uh, we had a concert. And when we got off the stage, we went in the dressing room. And uh, it wasn't long after we got in there, we heard something go. And if you know about quartet, you know what that is. And we opened the door, and it was my dream. So I didn't know he was there. He came and said, brother, I just want to congratulate you. Keep doing what you're doing. No problem. I love you, man. And uh, then we came back together again. And you know, I went through some health issues, so I really had to stop singing, you know. And about three months ago, he called me. He said, hey man, you ain't getting up shade saying now? I said, give me a minute. He said, okay. Called back about two weeks ago. I mean, two weeks later. He said, you ready to sing now? I said, yeah. So we started calling and talking and getting together with me. station right across the street from the rivers. I took my and I said, I'm tired. He said, man, you don't know. So we dab each other, we hug each other. So I love you, man. And he went one way and I went the other. Y'all, people like that, they don't, they don't come around every day. So, whenever you run across somebody like that, you, 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 you just have to love them because they're not gonna make you love them intentionally, but who they are as a person is gonna make you love them. And um, I can go on. Excuse me, just one minute. We do want y'all to, again, speed it up. Let's move swiftly, okay? Okay, we got, I got some more pastors. We're going to have some thoughts tonight. Definitely, we definitely want everybody to get a chance to have some thoughts, okay? So let's move swiftly, okay? You can give them the bishop first lady to all the clergy, to the family, to the family, to the family, to the family, to the the whole family. I would dare not leave here today without saying something about Audrey. Uh, I was his guitar player for many years, and, and everybody else would overlook me. We played. Audrey would call me. 
And I said, Dre, why you call me, dog? He said, because I believe in you, Scott. He said, you know, you just say my name like nobody else. And he said, man, you just be Scott. You can't be Kevin Wilson. You can't be Alton Hollis, Tyrone Jackson. He said, you be Scott Thompson. He said, I believe in you. And I just want to say, man, I appreciate you. And uh, you'll definitely be missed. And um, I just love you, man. God bless the family, y'all. Keep everybody in your prayers. Bless you all. Give one to the family, the clergy, and all that gather here today. I first met Andre, uh, Andre as a client. I really read from uh, Suffolk, Virginia. I met him as a client. We uh, got together to talk about uh, his nonprofit. And you all know he had many things um, that was on his plate. I knew nothing about uh, quartet music, and he made me a fan. And um, he was so excited about bringing me into that world. And um, I was transitioning into the pastor, and he was like, well, how's that pastor thing going? And we used to joke about it, um, just about being a woman in ministry. And um, I used to joke about that quartet thing. I said, so what new music you got going on? And so even though we met in business and we were talking about all the wonderful things um, that he had uh, going on in the nonprofit world, and that was my forte, um, we were... Uh, you know, we started out talking about business, but we ended up with such an amazing friendship. And I thank God um, that he allowed our paths to cross. I don't know um, the family. I don't know you all, but I just had to be here today. Because when God allows paths to cross, it is all intentional and it is all purposeful. He was such a motivator to many, and I know you all can attest to that. And during that season of my life, I needed another motivator. You know, as a minister, you spend your life motivating other people, but God allowed such a great motivator into my life, and I thank God for that. Dr. Seuss had this crazy quote. It's so, it said, don't cry um, that it's over, but smile because it happened. And that thing hit me differently. And this happened, and even though I cried, yeah, I cried. You don't get to be every out of business clients, you know, because everybody in business don't make you happy. But this person really made me happy, and so I cried. But I also smiled because it happened. I always tell people to live well and live better, but I tell you, Mondre made me want to live better. He made me want to motivate people better. And I hope after this experience, you want to live well, you want to live better, and you want to be the type of motivator that he was. Amen? So live better, motivate better, and I pray that you smile. Amen? Amen. God bless you. Church, say amen. Say amen again. We do give honor to God to be the head of our life to the illustrious pastor of this church, all dignitaries, everybody in their respective places. Um, I decided to come on and speak, so when I get ready to go ahead and sing, I won't even mess around. I'll go ahead and get healed. So um, I met Madre in Maysville, North Carolina one night. Um, we got to this program, and he was up there singing, and they were finished. They were playing the drive, they were playing the drive, they were playing the drive, and the MC was telling them, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. But Mondre, he got back up there, got the mic from the MC and said, I'm sorry, but when they keep playing our song, we got to sing some more. And I said, look at this Joey here, you cocky, ain't it? <laughs> but from that night on, we met and we became good friends. And, you know, we recorded a song together on the last album that he did called Cavalry. I don't know if you've heard it. That song called Calvary. And one of the greatest things he did when we recorded that day, you know, that was during the time Rita Franklin had died. And, uh, you know, I was looking on my phone, just looking at the news, and we got to McDonald's and we get ready to eat. And he said, You know what, man, Aretha Franklin ain't gonna feel you. Come on, man, let's go in and get something to eat. <laughs> I said, Okay, okay, okay. And uh, that was just a great time. He took me in. Drove me, took me some places, showed me some things, and told me some stuff that he was getting ready to do. And mentioned we were getting ready to do some more stuff, but God knew best. And you can't question God's time. So, so we say, Andre, sleep on, take your rest. We love you. We'll see you in the morning. Hey, I'm doing? Um, hey, man, this is someone got a. Uh, a Benz in the family, in the family line, got a Benz. Amen. Got a Benz. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
um, the life, your blankets are still left on. Your blankets are still left on in the family life. And also, someone across the street driving a red Corolla um, uh, so you're blocking someone across the street. Amen. You're blocking someone. They need to leave. So you're blocking someone. Amen. I got to go. Um, I played drums with Andre for seven years. Andre the boss man made me the drummer that I am. But Andre, the guy that make you mad, all the reasons the man that I am is good. Me and Andre started our friendship with me. So I know one of my favorite members, I'm singing somewhere, I'm singing with my group and standing on the side. I'm singing, I'll be all right. Yeah, we're gonna be like Andre on the side. Tell me. <laughs> and so he comes to me the whole time. I'm like, Say the word slow it, right? He's been real. Just take it. That's the kind of guy he was. And last time I was with him, I talked to him Monday, the last time I was with him, he and the one who coming back from talks, all we did the whole time was laugh and snore. That's all we did the whole time. So Andre, I'm gonna miss you and I love you. I appreciate everything that you ever did. And if you want your boy, if he ain't never make you mad. So if you made him mad, it's alright, y'all. It's gonna get better, right? Amen. Why? But certain things, we just, God already know the reason. 
And sometimes we got to go God on our knees and say, God, help me. Lord, help me get through this. Lord, help me on Monday. Help me on Tuesday, Lord. Help me on Wednesday, Lord. Help me on Thursday, Lord. Help me on Friday, Lord. Help me on Saturday, Lord. Help me on Sunday, Lord. Let's see, give me, give me up seven days a week. Not just tomorrow. And I know sometimes, man, we go to people's houses, you know, before we have the furrow, and we sit and we sit with the family. But I'm going to tell you something. The most time they need is after today. That's the most time they need. It. You see what I'm saying? Because they got time to cry and weep while y'all sitting in their face. They don't got time for it. You know what I'm saying? They got to entertain. You know, people say, oh, she had been funny. I she had been funny her up just now. She got time to play games, so they need it after today. You know what I'm saying? So grab a hold of each other, let know that God is real. And my love is real. You know what I'm saying? We need some other kind of love than social media. We can get on social media and tell each other we love them, but we can't go to look each other's face and tell them we love them. We want one of them talking to each other's song and say, I know. But you get on social media and everybody see you got a thousand friends and say, oh, I love you now. See what I'm saying? You gotta tell people you love you now. We love the first social media. All the way to get in contact with somebody who's on the phone. You see what I'm saying? So now we gotta tell somebody I love them. Look at your neighbor right now and say, I love you. Somebody say, oh, yeah. I'm telling you, now, man, it's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time out for the game. It's time out for the fools. It's time. I mean, that mother said, you know, you know, I, I, I make mistakes too. I'm not right. I don't got every eye. I don't call for the team. But I know the man. I know, I, I, I know it's time to go on my knees. I know who called me. See what I'm saying? See, when you, when you know that you know that you know, you gotta worry about nobody else. See what I'm saying? I'm gonna sing a little song for the rest of Shrine peas are commonplace All kinds of diseases People are slipping away The economy is down People don't get no pain But as for me All I can say is Thank you Lord for
grateful is one that loved to help other people. Love to help other people. Amen. This time his mom want to have some remarks. My cousin. Amen. Wanna say I couldn't do it, but I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna do it for everyone. And, and I hope it bless everybody. If we
Mr. Bird, amen, over to, I think it's a part near the Hearst. You, uh, in a way, you're too close to the Hearst. I think you need to move your vehicle. Last one, tag number BBW 3702. Amen. Now it is time to come for us to uh, start our homeborn ceremony. <laughs> 